Here is the eco printing and dyeing that I did in the last couple of days, except for the dress on the mannequin. That was one I did a couple of weeks ago and I'll tell you a bit more about it in a moment. We'll just go to the left here and have a look at this merino jumper. Well, it's actually part merino, it's 48% merino and it's responded really well to the eco printing process. I used rusty cans and this was done in my dirty pot or ongoing dye pot which is an old laundry copper from the 1940s or a boiler. And because of the copper cover on the element, I get green sometimes. I folded this so I would get the string lines on the front because I wanted it to be quite dramatic. And it certainly turned out that way. Very happy with how that's turned out. Next to it is a piece of silk, which I just put two sorts of um, eucalyptus leaves from our property on it and I put it in a pan of onion skins which you would have seen in my earlier Facebook and Instagram posts and again the string lines are really dramatic and the colour really rich where the onion skins were in contact with the outside of the bundle and the interesting thing that happened was that the textured piece of wool fabric that I laid on top of this to get a mirror image um, left some texture on the silk so that's the weave from the wool, not the dye, but the weave from the wool, which has made a pattern onto the silk, which I think is a fascinating result that was totally unexpected. I love the orange and gold colours with that soft grey blue, really good combination and totally accidental. This is a beautiful silk dress or slip that I found in a thrift shop in Hobart and uh, it's responded so well to the dirty pot. Um, I think it's a bespoke piece made by the person who wore it or perhaps by a dressmaker. It has hand crocheted trim on the neckline and the sleeves and hand rolled hem detail on the front of the neckline and it also has French seams, so it's really well made. It had no labels or any identification on it, but I could tell it was silk, and I'm so pleased that I gave this a go. I've used eucalyptus leaves and bracken fern on this, and you can see where the bracken fern has made a resist print near the bottom, and I tried to get a border print, so I have got a subtle border print on the bottom from the bracken fern. Most of the leaves have printed in an orangey colour, but in one spot they've printed green. Uh, and these are some of the unexpected things that happen sometimes. I'm just going to turn it around so you can see the back. <clears throat> and you can see that it's just as dramatic on the back. Perhaps a bit moody, but I quite like that. And again, eucalyptus leaves. And then we've got this touch of green again at the bottom because of the copper plate on the element in my old laundry boiler. And I just love how this has turned out. It's so complex in its design. And I feel like I don't really have control over it in too many ways. Quite often nature has its own ideas and I love that. This is the one I did a couple of weeks ago. This was a soft grey colour originally and it has lovely subtle orangey coloured eco prints on it from the eucalyptus again, same varieties. And I made it so that the string lines were on the front, uh, on the frill. And I don't know if you can see but there's also a fern print there. I also did a little bit of embroidery because it had a tiny hole in the bodice and that just adds a nice touch. This next one is a vintage slip. It is nylon and I'm showing you the back here and you can see that it has some bracken fern prints on the bodice section and the same eucalyptus leaves I used in the other pieces have printed green. I love what the bracken, what the uh, Banksia has done as well, and it's just amazing how 
you can never really tell what's going to happen. Nylon behaves like silk and apparently the fibre content is very similar. I only found this out recently and uh, yeah it does a beautiful job on this fabric. And again I'll just turn this around so you can see the front. It has a lovely lace feature on the front and some more bracken fern. I don't know if you can see that there. And the Banksia has made a lovely detail just where the bodice joins the skirt section. It's an empire style. Very flattering sort of style, I think. I used to wear empire waist a lot. And again, the green prints with a little hint of orange from the eucalyptus. And the rusty cans I used in the bundle have really made this quite dark as well as it being in the dirty pot with the other items. And the other thing that I forgot to mention to you is that the piece of silk that I did in the onion skin pot, I wrapped it around copper pipe. So all the others were done with rusty cans in the dirty pot, but the piece of silk was done in an aluminium pot with onion skins. Friends donate onion skins and uh, save them and donate them, which I really appreciate. So that's my latest news about things that I've done in the last few days. Hope you enjoyed it.